Some days there aren't that many fish around, and some days there are. And a few days ago, when I first hopped in the water to go spearfishing, it was immediately apparent that it was going to be a good day. Almost right away, I was able to shoot a leather jacket and a sweet lips. <laughs> And shortly after that, I heard my dive partner Nicholas yelling for help about 30 yards up current from me. But the current was too strong for me to swim over to him, so I called our boat driver over to give me a lift. I got to him and threw him a float to attach his gun to just in time. If we had taken even a little bit more time to get that float to him, he probably would have lost both his gun and the big fish that we were hoping was still attached to the other end of his spear. He had shot a big GT at the end of a 60 foot dive, at which point the big fish bolted towards deeper water, quickly eating up his reel line and dragging him in the water. And after securing his gun to the float, Nicholas was exhausted and excited from getting pulled by that big fish, and his heart rate was too high for him to be able to dive back down to even deeper water to look for the fish and presumably untangle it from a coral or cave somewhere in the depths. And on top of having to find and fetch the fish from the bottom of the ocean, the current was pumping so strongly that even if you kicked against it wearing big freedive fins, you'd still move backwards. So we devised a plan. The boat captain dropped us off as far up current as the line attached to the spear gun would allow us to go. And as the current quickly swept us towards where the fish was, Nicholas pulled in the line while I relaxed on the surface and prepared myself to dive down and look for the fish. When the line looked vertical instead of diagonal, it meant that we were above where the fish was and I began my descent. 82 feet later, I untangled the line from some coral and followed it along the ocean floor, hoping to find a big fish attached to it. And thankfully, there it was. Laying on the floor of the ocean, tired and unable to escape to deeper water because of the line that had hooked onto that coral.
And exhausted after all that, I decided to take one last dive to go look for some fish before heading home. 75 feet later, I saw a fairly big sweet lips, took a shot at it, and got tangled in the fucking reef again. So we repeated that whole process again and finally headed home. It was really exciting to help land such a big fish. And Nicholas, who's actually a vegetarian except for the fish that he hunts with his spear gun, made sure that none of it went to waste. Even the head and spine of the fish was cooked into soup by some locals. And he gave me a piece and we cooked it over a fire in tin foil with some vegetables and ate it with friends. And that's the end of the story. Oh, 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 oh,